Dan in Portland, Maine says, good day to you, sir. <laughs> Enjoying the sound experience for so long. I've accumulated a bunch of stuff, haven't we all? Uh, these include some turntables with a built-in ADC and a phono preamp with built-in ADCs, as well as a standalone unit. With the question I have is whether I can plug the ADC output directly into my DAC or do I need intermediate software such as a computer might provide? Well, the quick and short answer is, yeah, you can take the output of an ADC, plug it directly into the input of a D to A, and get analog on the outside. You don't need anything in between. Okay. But it also deserves a little bit of understanding and explanation, I think, for those who don't really understand what all this is. So an ADC is an analog to digital converter, and a DAC is a digital to analog converter. Analog goes in one side, digital audio comes out the other side, digital audio goes in here, analog comes out there. So like on this big mixing board, when we record, we record everything in digital audio. We, we happen to use DSD and most people use PCM, but whatever the flavor, it's still digital audio. We are converting analog which is a continuous electrical signal into quantified, quantized bits that are representations of those analog signals. And that is done in an analog to digital converter. And that has a, a clock in it that's running at, well, Oh gosh, uh, two and a half megahertz if we're doing DSD or at 44,000 times a second if we're doing uh, standard CD digital audio and it's taking a snapshot and every you know, 2.5 millionths of a second we take a snapshot and we measure it, put out a digital representation of it or every 44,000 times a second we put this digital representation out. Now when you see those, you can't do much with it. So now we have to, it goes into a computer and we can record it on a hard drive. And there it sits till we want to bring it back out or just connect it straight up as to the person's question. But just so we have a little bit more understanding of how all this works. And then we go into a digital analog converter which basically reverses that process. Takes those digits and sees what they're saying, like this one needs to be higher, this one needs to be lower, and we make that into a nice, clean, analog signal, which is what we started with in the first place. ADC to DAC, analog in, analog out. You can connect it directly. You can connect it to a hard drive and later on connect the output of the hard drive through a computer into your DAC. That's how that kind of all works. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.